What's going on guys? Today we're going to be showing you guys how to change the oil on the good old Supermoto. Let's change that oil, baby. So the tools necessary in order for us to do a successful oil change on the DRZ is a, a ratchet, a small extension, a 14, 12, and 10 socket, your favorite oil. What we're going to be using today is 10W40 by Mobile One. This is the only oil that I've ever used and it's never failed me, so I would highly suggest this oil. A K&N oil filter, small funnel, couple rags, and a good old oil pan. So let's get started, boys. So the first thing you guys wanna do is uh, remove the skid plate in order for you to get access to the drain plugs. So my skid plate fortunately comes with integrated cutout holes. That way I don't have to take off the skid plate and I could just reach both of the drain plugs because the DRZ has two drain plugs that you have to take out. So put the oil pan underneath. And then with your 12 millimeter ratchet, you're gonna go ahead and take off the first drain plug. Also, you wanna make sure that you have rags ready to go, that way, in case it gets messy. Make sure you clean that drain plug nice and tight, nice and clean. And then for the first drain plug, it has a crushed washer, so make sure you don't lose that because you're gonna need to reuse that. So last time I actually changed the drain plugs, I'm not gonna be switching them today. Uh, I'm gonna be reusing them because they're just okay. They're just fine, so keep these. And next with your 14 millimeter socket, you're gonna go ahead and take the drain plug from underneath the motor. And that's pretty much where most of the oil is coming from, so watch out. There it goes. To be honest, it's such a rewarding feeling when you change your oil because you know you're getting all that nasty gunk out and just gonna provide some nice fresh oil for your motor. So it's ready to go. I'm also gonna clean this drain plug just because it's, it's in good shape still, so I'm not gonna replace it just yet. I'll probably replace it in the next oil change. And then you're just gonna wait a couple minutes. I would say wait about five, 10 minutes in order for all the oil to fully drain out. And then if you really want to, you could actually put the jack stand on the rear tires in order to lift it up. That way it's nice and centralized. So this is just to show you guys where exactly the first drain plug is and then also the second one. So this is the first one. So that hole that you see there, that's the first one. And then the second one is down there. So now that you've drained both areas, make sure you just clean any excess oil that's smudged anywhere and then reinstall both drain plugs. So once you've installed both drain plugs, what you're gonna do is change out the oil filter. So in order for you to get to the oil filter, you have to remove these three bolts. And all three of them are 10 millimeter. The oil filter's right here. And uh, whenever you're doing this, make sure that you have the oil pan directly under it or else you're just gonna create a big mess. And then just clean it off. Make sure you clean the inside of the cap and then you're gonna go ahead and remove that filter. If I can get my hands on it, Damn it. Oh my God. Remove the rubber gasket, because we're gonna replace it. I just wanted to be lazy. I didn't want to take out my skid plate. Oh hell no. But probably should have. So we're gonna go ahead and install the new oil filter. So everything here that I use will be down in the description below. So make sure you guys check it out. All parts, numbers, and everything like that. So if you guys have a bike like this, make sure you check out the description. So when you're changing the oil, make sure that the part that has the bigger hole goes in the inside. So usually K&N always has the letterings in the inside, so make sure you point it in. So with your new oil, make sure you add the coating of lube to your new gasket, your rubber gasket, that way it's nice and lubricated. It tends to stick better to the filter. Go ahead and apply the new gasket. And when you're getting close to reapplying the cover for the filter, make sure that the arrow is pointing up. It's, it only points up, so you can't really mess it up, but make sure this small arrow points up. And tighten it up. When you're tightening it, make sure you don't over tighten. I'm gonna torque these later, but make sure you guys look at your owner's manual to make sure how many pounds per inches these nuts are supposed to be torqued down to. And then reinstall the new oil. So take out the, the dipstick. For the DRZ, it takes 1.8 quarts. So one hole of these, and then make sure you measure that last second one. So once you add that oil, make sure you take out the funnel, and then reinsert that dipstick. Boom, done. And that's it, boys. It took me a whopping 10 minutes to do all this. I'm gonna go ahead and give it two skulls in difficulty. If you have the right tools, it's simple. You can do it on your time off. I know it could be a little tedious to torque those bolts and those nuts down, but you gotta do it, so 
Make sure if you guys have any questions, check out the description below. I have all the ports down below. Make sure you guys check out the description for all necessary products that I use today. I just want to thank you guys for sticking around. I know it's going to be way more to come during this year. I got way more videos coming for you guys. All these how to's. Take a look into my winner's guide playlist right up here. And uh, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I got plenty of videos on right now. And make sure you guys just leave it a like, comment, thumbs up, anything you guys want. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, guys. Peace.